Alexander, you just won your round six game against Selene Rubers. Congratulations. Thank you. It, uh, it went relatively smoothly, but of course, uh, in hindsight, it's always easy to say that. Let's talk about the opening a little bit. It was a, an advance uh, Karakan. You were playing on the black side and she chose a very aggressive uh, response. Uh, yeah, I was actually prepared for that, at least I hoped I was, uh, but uh, in the end she surprised me with queen d1. I didn't see this move in this particular line, but uh, I believe after that she had to react somehow much more actively, because once I got the better pawn structure with a5, ba, queen a5, at least I can always fall back on that if something goes wrong. Where do you think that moment is where she could have reacted more actively? I, I believe the, the first critical moment is when I played queen b6, and then she she might consider something like a4, a5, b5 as a pawn sacrifice, or m maybe, some, maybe some other aggressive idea, but uh, basically if you commit to, let's say, clamping down on c5 this way, then you have to follow through and uh, d deny black th uh, th this easy play that I got. In the end, uh, you mentioned easy play, the end was quite brutal, where was the, the final mistake? Mm, I believe after I played g5, uh, the only, let's say, semi-playable uh, response is g4, and after this knight h4, knight h2. Um, but let's say I go queen a6, and I'm two pawns up, and there is no longer any real compensation because all of my pieces are reasonably active. So y you can still make moves, but I believe the position should be lost in the long run. With that win, you move to four and a half uh, out of six. It is a very long tournament, of course. We're not even halfway, but uh, how do you feel about your play so far? I would say um, <laughs> I'm most happy in, in some of the games that the uh, actually, I, I believe my best game here so far was against Ariban, which mm -hmm. I did not win. Mm -hmm. But uh, s still, um, I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm not making huge mistakes. And the only really bad position that I got was in round one. So um, as long as, let's say, I'm st staying in the competition for, for, for first uh, uh, until the end, it's, uh, th there will always be chances. Speaking of the first going into this round, uh, Mustafa Yilmaz was the tournament leader. Today it depends on his result. Will you be even on points or will he remain half a point ahead? But you are playing each other uh, tomorrow, so that's a huge game for you, I imagine. It's, de it's definitely an, Im an, important, uh, an important game, but um, y you also have to see that even after this, there are still six more rounds. So it's not like if I win or if he wins that uh, we automatically win the tournament. Again, it's, uh, it's, 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 it, sounds, uh, it sounds boring by this point, but uh, we, it's, if you compare it to an open tournament with nine rounds, we have, we have like three out of three. And, to, and then we're, we're, we're already splitting up the prices when the, everything can change. Thanks for those insights, Alexander. Congrats again and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.